All on you guys, whenever you're ready. What was it like uh, out there practicing second day? I liked it. Uh, it, was, it was fun. It was good to be outdoors. It was crisp and cool, and the guys had a lot of good energy on the field, so it was a good, good second practice for us. I think we made progress. You had so many freshmen, true freshmen, play last year. How much can they learn at linebacker from their first spring together? Well, they'll, they'll, they better learn a lot. They better grow leaps and bounds. And uh, I'm going to be really anxious to see those guys progress as we, you know, come back off a break and get pads on and, and uh, really get down to, you know, contact drills and those kinds of things. So really, really anxious to watch those guys progress. Of the linebackers who do have some experience, does anybody stand out as, you know, having, having taken a step forward? Well, it's probably too early to say, you know, given the fact that we've only been in helmets twice. Um, but I think you're, you're seeing, from a mental perspective, at least the steps of progression that you would anticipate between a second and third year. Um, that's really the whole defense, not just the backers. We're, we're uh, mentally way, way ahead, which is good. Now we just got to get the physical part to show up uh, when we get out there with pads on after break. What's the competition look like at the same spot? Well, the Sam spot's going to be, uh, you know, uh, several different guys. You know, Tyreek Williams is coming back off of a knee surgery um, from from last year, and he's practicing and had a good off season. And then uh, Malik Dixon, a transfer, came in. He's getting some reps there. Siam Simmons has been in our in our uh, system. Um, was a red shirt a year ago. Those guys are, are now with Toby Ninus in his position group, uh, along with the Jack uh, backers, the outside backers that go into the boundary. So. He might be able to uh, have a different perspective on that for you, but uh, it should be a really good competition there. What are you seeing from Deontay Roberts as a captain? Do you see think that he's making the right steps to lead the group next year? Yeah, again, pretty early, but uh, he's taking good charge of the defense, controlling the front, making the calls, getting us lined up, uh, vocal and um, confident when he's doing it. So, so far, so good. Defensively, uh, Coach Ash said the other day he really likes the new coaches that have come in to work with you defensively. How, how is that shaken up? Like, what are you liking about working with these new guys? Well, I think every time you get a new new uh, coach or coaches, you know, you're going to learn something different from everybody you work alongside. But these guys are coming in with a lot of energy, and um, you know they're very, very willing to just uh, adapt and adjust to how we run our defense. And fun to work with in the room. It's been a good start, and um, you know, so far the chemistry is really good. After sitting out last year, how is Trey Avery? Um, how is Trey Avery um, progressing? Oh, he's he's doing well. Trey is a talented guy. He's a, got a lot of good uh, movement skills, as you would expect for corner. And um, you know, again, after a couple practices, a little tough to say, but he's competing hard. Um, you know, we'll we'll see where it goes, but I think he's got a good future here. So, uh, Tyshawn Fogg, where you you thought he was going to be coming into his first spring? Yeah, pretty much. You know, he had uh, dealt with a concussion in the middle of the season last year and missed three games and maybe a part of another one. So that, that uh, threw his timetable off a little bit. But you guys could see when he came in towards the end of the year and got into a couple games after he was healthy, um, you know, what, what he was starting to be able to do. And so now we just got to pick up where he left off. And uh, again, when we come back after break and get into pads and, and let him run around and have, uh, you know, contact real football, so to speak, then you know we're going to learn a lot more about how he's come along, but I like where he's at. You mentioned going second year in the defense with third year. Uh, how has that kind of transition or improvement changed from maybe year one to year two? The other year? Well, I think what you just look for is a, a, an equal increment uh, of growth. Like from year one to year two, you could see that. Now from year two to year three, we need the same thing to happen again. And then hopefully that translates into more wins in the in the win-loss column, and you have better success on Saturday. But um, you know, from the first couple practices, I sure feel like we're on that track, on that path. Uh, again, it's uh, just helmets practices, so you can't uh, overanalyze that too much. Is a big thing about uh, what I'm looking for when we get back to coming off a break is is uh, with pads on. If we see guys play with the physicality and toughness that we're looking for. Anything else, guys?